Welcome to Daily Cock Today. We'll talk about floating islands. Before we begin, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Floating islands are not only eye catching, but they also improve water quality, provide habitat for fish, prevent increased erosion, and aid to lower mosquito populations. You may improve your fishery by adding this unique element to the water with some clever pond management and strategic planning. The design of the island is the first priority. It is critical to understand which solutions are most suited for your pond. If your pond is adequately aerated, you can grow practically everything that would normally thrive in your local environment on your island. Plants that are widely employed include flowers, tiny shrubs, and other ornamentals. If your pond is not adequately aerated, stick to wetland plants for a more natural appearance. Because of the thermal impacts of the water, floating islands grow and mature earlier in the spring and remain green longer in the fall. You may also create a planting strategy to attract or repel birds. Attracting waterfowl, for example, will allow you to build a separate location to feed your fish without interruption from geese, blue heron, and so on. Once you've decided on a design, you may concentrate on the health advantages they bring for your pond. If your pond has a high nutrient load due to lawn fertilizer or storm runoff, floating islands can help to enhance water quality by functioning as a natural means of mining nutrients out of the water. The nutrients are subsequently transformed into appealing pond habitat. Your island, if correctly located, can prevent bank erosion by buffering off waves that would ordinarily lap onto the bank. If you are from the south, you are aware that mosquitoes are common in this region of the country. Fish, nymphs, and other mosquito larva-eating organisms will live on floating islands. Mosquito larva and other tiny insects provide a nutritious diet for your baby fish, while also providing shelter for juvenile predators and baitfish. Floating islands are a wonderful way to spice up your pond. If you are a beginner gardener, try growing some ornamentals. Or if you are an experienced and ambitious gardener, start a succulent garden with watercress or ginger. Make your island a tropical paradise. If you're not sure where to begin, ask a local biologist for advice on which plants might thrive in your region. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos.